Welcome to our exploration of DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid, often described as the blueprint of life. It is a complex molecule that carries the genetic instructions used in the growth, development, functioning, and reproduction of all known organisms and many viruses. DNA is akin to a recipe book, each page brimming with detailed instructions that dictate how the cells in our body should behave, what traits to express, and how to replicate themselves. These instructions are crucial for life, influencing everything from the color of our eyes to our susceptibility to diseases. Nested within the nuclei of our cells, DNA is tightly coiled and structured, poised to be read and executed. This dynamic molecule constantly interacts with the environment and other cellular components, influencing our growth and health. DNA serves not just as a set of instructions, but also as a record of our evolutionary history, carrying echoes of our ancestors' lives and environments. The understanding of DNA has utterly transformed medicine and biology, leading to revolutionary technologies like genetic engineering and gene therapy, which hold the promise of curing diseases once thought incurable. The study of DNA also raises profound ethical questions about the extent to which we should alter our genetic makeup. As we delve deeper into genetic codes, we edge closer to understanding the very essence of life itself. The marvel of DNA lies in its simplicity and its complexity, where four basic building blocks, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, combine in myriad ways to form the genetic sequences that make us uniquely human and yet connect us to every living organism on the planet. Join us as we journey into the most intimate parts of living beings, revealing the deep connections that bind us all in the web of life. Let's delve into the molecular structure of DNA. DNA is composed of two long strands that coil around each other to form a double helix, a structure discovered by James Watson and Francis Crick in 1953. Each strand is made up of a sugar phosphate backbone from which nucleotide bases protrude, adenine, A, thymine, T, cytosine, C, and guanine, G. These bases pair in a specific way, A with T and C with G. This pairing is crucial as it ensures the DNA's ability to replicate and repair itself, thereby maintaining the genetic integrity of an organism. The process of DNA replication is a marvel of biological engineering. The double helix unwinds, and each strand serves as a template for the creation of a new complementary strand. This process is facilitated by a variety of enzymes, including DNA polymerase, which helps add new nucleotide bases in the correct sequence. The result is two identical DNA molecules, each containing one old and one new strand, a mechanism termed semi-conservative replication. The stability and predictability of DNA base pairing are fundamental to the genetic consistency across generations. This precise molecular mechanism allows for the faithful transmission of genetic information from parent to offspring, a process that is essential for the reproduction and survival of species. Errors in this process, although rare, can lead to mutations which might be harmful or, in some cases, provide a beneficial adaptation. In addition to its structural role, DNA also serves a crucial functional role. It is the template for transcription, the first step in gene expression. During transcription, a segment of DNA is copied into RNA, ribonucleic acid, which is then translated into a protein. Proteins perform a vast array of functions within organisms, from catalyzing metabolic reactions to responding to stimuli and providing structure to cells and organisms. The flow of genetic information from DNA to RNA to protein is known as the central dogma of molecular biology. Now, let's explore the role of chromosomes in genetics. Chromosomes are thread-like structures located within the nucleus of every cell and are made up of DNA wrapped around histone proteins. They serve as the vehicle for genetic heredity and are key players in the process of cell division. Human cells typically contain 46 chromosomes, arranged in 23 pairs, with one set of chromosomes inherited from each parent. This configuration ensures that each cell has a complete set of genetic instructions. The number of chromosomes varies widely between different species, which can have profound implications for the complexity and functionality of organisms. For example, fruit flies have eight chromosomes while dogs have 78. Such variations are a fundamental aspect of biological diversity and adaptation. Chromosomes are not just passive carriers of genetic material, they also play an active role in regulating gene expression and maintaining genomic integrity. During the process of reproduction, 
chromosomes undergo a type of cell division known as meiosis, which results in the production of gametes, sperm and eggs, with half the usual number of chromosomes. This reduction is crucial for sexual reproduction, allowing for the combination of genetic material from two parents and the creation of genetically unique offspring. The recombination of chromosomes during meiosis is a source of genetic variation, which is a key driver of evolution. Besides their role in heredity, chromosomes are also central to the study of genetic diseases. Abnormalities in chromosome number or structure can lead to conditions such as Down syndrome, which is caused by an extra copy of chromosome 21. Understanding how chromosomes function and how they can malfunction provides crucial insights into the mechanisms of genetic disorders and offers pathways to potential treatments or therapies. Section 4. The Human Genetic Mosaic, Genes and Variability The human genome consists of approximately 20,000 to 25,000 genes, each coding for proteins that perform specific functions within the body. These genes are not evenly distributed among the chromosomes, but are rather clustered in specific regions, with vast stretches of non-coding DNA in between. The variability among these genes is what makes each human unique, contributing to differences in everything from eye color to predisposition to certain diseases. Gene variability arises from mutations, which are changes in the DNA sequence. These mutations can be inherited or occur during an individual's lifetime due to environmental factors such as radiation or chemical exposures. While many mutations are harmless, others can disrupt the function of important proteins, leading to disease. However, some mutations can be beneficial, providing the genetic diversity needed for a population to adapt to changing environments. In addition to variability, genes can be either dominant or recessive, which affects how they are expressed in an individual. For a recessive gene to be expressed, an individual must inherit two copies of the gene, one from each parent, whereas a dominant gene can be expressed with just one copy. This distinction is crucial in understanding genetic diseases and traits. For example, brown eyes are a dominant trait, while blue eyes are recessive. Furthermore, the interaction between genes and between genes and the environment can influence the expression of traits and the development of diseases. These interactions are complex and are the subject of ongoing research in genetics. Understanding how genes interact with each other and with environmental factors is crucial for developing personalized medicine, which aims to tailor medical treatment to individual genetic profiles. Section 5. The Impact of Genetics on Physical Traits and Health Genetics plays a fundamental role in determining physical traits such as height, skin color, and eye color, as well as a person's susceptibility to diseases like diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. These traits and conditions result from the complex interplay of multiple genes and their interactions with environmental factors. For example, while specific genes may predispose an individual to obesity, lifestyle choices such as diet and exercise can significantly influence the expression of these genes. Recent advances in genetic research have led to the development of genome-wide association studies, which identify genetic variations associated with particular diseases. This research has not only expanded our understanding of genetic contributions to disease, but also opened up new avenues for prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. Personalized medicine, which uses an individual's genetic profile to guide decisions made in regard to the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of diseases, is becoming increasingly feasible. Moreover, the study of genetics and physical traits and health is not just about predicting and treating disease, it also enhances our understanding of human diversity and the biological basis of complex traits. This knowledge fosters a greater appreciation of both our differences and our similarities, highlighting the shared genetic threads that connect us as a species. In conclusion, the exploration of genetics is more than a scientific endeavor. It is a journey towards understanding the very essence of life and our place in the natural world. As we continue to unravel the complexities of DNA and genetic interactions, we are likely to discover even more about the wonderful diversity and potential of human life. The future of genetics promises not only advancements in medicine and health, but also a deeper understanding of what it means to be human.